Hey friends, so by now you probably have your new MacBook Air from the technology department and you're trying to figure out how to recover all of your backed up files from your old laptop. Well, when you did backup and sync, if you are familiar with the process, you wound up with all of your files over here in Google Drive underneath computers. Now for me, I have multiple computers that I have backed up through backup and sync and even though I'm not currently using or own any of these, some of these laptops anymore, all my files still exist here. So if I ever need to recover them, then they're all located in one spot. So I'm going to find my laptop that has the files that I need to recover. And then you can choose the folder that you wish to download, do three dots, and then click download. Once you do that, it's going to prepare a zipped file for you to then unzip and place the files where you would like them. So in this case, they would wind up underneath downloads. I'd be able to find the zip folder, unzip it, drag the files onto my desktop, and I'm good to go. Now, make sure, since we're talking about backup and sync, that you have backup and sync running on your current laptop. So as a reminder for that process, we're going to click on the backup and sync icon in the very top. And if you don't currently see this icon, either try rebooting your computer or go into your applications folder and run and set up backup and sync. So once I go into this, I'm going to click three dots, preferences, and make sure that it is backing up the files that I wish for it to back up. And then you can click OK. And just like on our old computer, when this is whirly gigging, when it has a little circle spinning around, then it's backing up. And when it has the up arrow like it does right now, it's all backed up. And just like our old MacBook, I can now find my new MacBook underneath my backup and sync, uh, underneath the computer's menu and see the files that I currently have on this computer. Now, if that works for you, then great. For those of you that are more advanced um, or perhaps are using multiple devices, which will be most of you, if not all of you, once we have the iPads in place for our teachers, you might actually want to look at using the sync portion of backup and sync more. So in the first option, this is our backup menu. Then I'm going to go underneath the Google Drive icon and I'm actually going to select some of the files or some of the folders from my Google Drive and have them backed up onto my Mac. So for me, I have things like my screencast folder, um, you could also, in Google Drive, for example, create a folder that is just for your downloads. So I can come into here. I'm coming online, going into my Google Drive. I'm going to create a whole folder just called Downloads. It's going to create the folder. And then when I come into Backup and Sync, I'm actually going to be able to hit Cancel be able to get the file structure back that now has the downloads folder. And so when I come into the sync portion, I'm going to actually sync my downloads folder that I just created. So if I come in here, here's downloads. Let's click OK, check the box to sync it. So now it will really gig a little bit because it's actually pulling that backup structure or that backup folder onto this computer. Then I'm going to navigate into the Google Drive in my finder. And if you're feeling lost right now, it's okay. Touch base with me and I can help you set this up. Or maybe you don't need this part in the first place. So I'm going to come down in my glorious Google Drive folder. I'm actually going to look for downloads. And I'm going to look specifically in my Google Drive and that would be this folder here. So if we notice, it's in my Google Drive and here's my downloads folder. I'm actually going to make an alias of this, which is a shortcut, and I'm going to take that and put it on my desktop. So that is where I'm going to save all of my downloads to. I also want to take it a step further and create a new folder that is for all my screenshots. So I'm going to be in my Google Drive, I'm going to create a new folder and call it Screenshots. So that exists in my Google Drive. I'm going to repeat the same process, make an alias, click and drag the alias onto my desktop, and then I'm actually going to take all these screenshots and just drag them into this folder, including the screen recording. And let's do the screen recording too. 
So now I have a downloads folder, I have a screenshots folder, both of those actually exist in Google Drive. And when I come onto my Google Drive on here, I'm actually going to be able to scroll down and eventually once everything is synced, I'm going to see, oh, right there I have a screenshots folder. So now I can access my screenshots on my Mac through the shortcut on my desktop, or I can access my shortcuts through my Google Drive here. So that's a little bit of an advanced setup, but for people who have multiple devices, such as myself, then it works really well to sync content across devices instead of just working on backing it up. If this intrigues you, feel free to make an appointment with me and I'll be more than happy to help you set it up to make it work best for you. I hope that helps.